I've done quite a few coding interviews in my time and I found that one of the most common questions I get asked at coding interviews is the fizz buzz question. Now the fizz buzz question is something most developers have heard of. Quick disclaimer, I don't think interviewers should ask candidates to solve the fizz buzz question. I think most candidates at some point will learn how to solve the fizz buzz question. So it's not really a great way of testing a candidate's ability because it's quite easy to memorize the solution to this problem. However, because I have been asked this question quite a few times during my time, I wanted to share with you my thoughts on what I found is the best and most easily memorable way of solving the problem. And today we're going to be using C Sharp to solve the FizzBuzz question. So what is the FizzBuzz question? Well, you'll normally be given the following problem to solve. You have to alliterate through numbers one to say 100, and you have to uh, display every number in the console except from when the number is divisible by three, you print the line fizz. If the number is divisible by five, you print the line buzz. And if the number is divisible by both three and five, you print the word fizz buzz. So it'll go something like one, two, fizz, four, buzz, fizz, seven, eight, fizz, buzz, 11, fizz, and so on until you get to 15. And because 15 is delivered uh, divisible by both three and five, you will say fizz, buzz, and so on. So we're just gonna jump right in and start coding our solution to the fizz buzz problem. So I'm using Visual Studio 2019. Um, I've opened up Visual Studio. I'm gonna hit create a new project. And what we're gonna uh, do is create a console application uh, using .NET Core. There's no reason why you also couldn't do this in uh, .NET Framework, but I'm using .NET Core. Um, the principles will be the same. There shouldn't be any uh, changes in the uh, in, any changes between .NET Core and .NET Framework that should affect you. Um, I'm going to name mine uh, Fizz Buzz uh, Solution. You can name yours whatever you want. Uh, so I'm going to hit Create and wait for that to do its thing. Cool. Here we go. So this is the um, default code that you'll get when you create a new console application. Uh, I'm going to remove this because we don't want uh, console.writeline. Um, what we do have, want the first thing we're going to jump jump right in and code is a function to uh, create us a list of numbers between one and a hundred. Um, we're going to code that as a separate function. Um, you'll see that static void main is the entry point to our program however we want to modulize our program we want to compartmentalize it so it's easier to maintain it's just good coding practice so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function uh, I'm going to say public static uh, list int uh, we'll call this um, get integer get integers. Uh, oh. um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a list of integers. So I'll say uh, var list int uh, integer list uh, equals, oh, I don't need that there. New list close that off uh, and just to stop some of these errors up here I'll say return integer list um, it will probably still complain about uh, you'll see the red lines under list int that's because we just need to uh, reference using system dot collections dot generic uh, we just need to add that up here so that we are uh, so that we can um, use uh, lists in our in our application 
So now, very, very simple, we want to um, create a for loop that counts from one to 100 and builds a list of um, integers, uh, counting from one to 100. So to do that, we just go uh, for uh, var i equals zero, uh, maybe i equals one. Um, we want to count from one, not from zero. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's definitely an i. Um, we want to finish when we get to 100, so we'll say uh, uh, i is less than 100. And every time we literate through the loop, I want to add one to i, um, so that um, we'll actually get somewhere with this loop. So I'll go i plus plus. And uh, very, very easy. All we're going to say is integer list dot add the value of i. So that should create us a uh, list of integers um, from one to 100. Very, very easy. And uh, here in our um, uh, main method, we'll just call that. So we'll go um, var integer list equals get integers. Nice and simple. So we now want to create our code that will actually do the brunt work of uh, FizzBuzz, uh, the code that will actually um, uh, literate through the list and print whatever needs to be printed to the console. So I'm going to, again, create a new function for that. Uh, this time I'll say public static void um, FizzBuzz. And if you're a little bit new to C Sharp, um, same public just means that this method is uh, publicly available throughout the application. Um, static means that we can reference this method without creating a instance of our class, in this case program. And void means that we're not going to return anything. So down here, if I call the method uh, fizzbuzz, um, I'm not expecting any return types. Um, it's not going to return me anything like here. Uh, we're returning a list. Um, with fizzbuzz, we're not returning anything, we're just printing to the console. However, I do want to pass it this integer list. Um, and in uh, fizzbuzz, I do need to tell it that we're expecting an integer list. So I'll just say list int. Uh, and I'll name it the same thing, integer list. Nice and simple. And now that we've got the for each loop, we want to perform a check to see if the uh, particular value at item is divisible by three and five. So if item uh, modulus uh, uh, three equals zero, so if, there, if you divide it by three and the remainder is zero, um, and uh, we'll do the same thing, uh, but for five modulus, uh, uh, item modulus five equals zero. So if you divide it by three and uh, the remainder is zero, and if you divide it by five and the remainder is zero, you want to print out to the console uh, fizzbuzz. So we'll say console dot right line uh, fizz. Buzz. There we go. Um, next up, we basically say else if, and uh, at this point, you can just copy uh, copy this code in there, and you'll basically just print the first part. Uh, fizz. Copy that to work with the five, and you'll print out buzz. Easy as that. Finally, if the number isn't divisible by three or five at all, then we just want to print out the number. So we'll basically say else uh, console dot right line uh, item, which is the integer. So that should be good to test. If you save that, run the app, and fingers crossed, 
here we go. We get uh, our, our app counts from uh, 1 to 100, so it goes 1, 2, fizz, 4, buzz, fizz, uh, 7, 8, fizz, buzz, 11, fizz. And then finally, when we get to 15, um, the first number divisible by both 3 and 5, we get fizz, buzz. And uh, there, yeah, there you go. That's our little fizz, buzz app coded in C sharp. That's probably the easiest. Uh, way to remember how to code the app. There are better, um, well I say better, there are solutions that require less code, um, but this is probably the easy, easiest method to remember. If um, a candidate demonstrates this in an interview, then um, yeah, most, uh, most managers would be happy.